Narcissists stalk people for a myriad of reasons, but at the core of it, they stalk because they believe that they own you. Narcissists believe that you are an extension of them and as such they can do whatever they please. So let's go ahead and jump into the different reasons. So if you have a toxic ex or a toxic relative, family, friend that won't leave you alone, we're going to jump into the reasons why. So first up, narcissists believe that they own you. At surface level, this may not make sense, but you have to look at it through the lens of where the narcissist is coming from, meaning their particular evolution. Now, if we take a trip down memory lane, we'll see where narcissists did not securely attach to their parents in childhood. This type of insecure, dysfunctional attachment is what you're actually dealing with now with them as an adult. This is because you're dealing with arrested development, and you hear me say that often here on this channel. For example, you'll hear me say often that narcissists are people that are based in shame and they can't move past their pride. So when I use the Hawking scales in this particular way, I'm talking about emotional arrested development. Pathological narcissism is not just emotional arrested development. It's not just a mental disorder. You really are dealing with people that are corrupt at their core. So you will hear me say also that narcissists are people that have accepted an evil spirit. So when you think about evil, you're thinking about darkness or being close to death. So if at their core they are dark, then everything outside will also be dark. You're dealing with someone that has lost their spark. They've lost their inner light. So at the spirit level, they are unconscious because again, they're based in shame. This is very low vibrational energy. In the mind area, you can see that they are losing their mind because this is at one level a type of mental illness. However, overall, narcissism Pathological narcissism is a psycho-spiritual illness. So you have arrested development at the spirit level, at the mind level, at the emotional level, because again, they can't move past their pride. And when it comes to willpower, you're dealing with very impulsive people. They cannot control themselves. And somebody that can control themselves is very closer to being a wild animal than they are to being a human being, a conscious human being. And what do we see at the physical level, at the body level? We see addiction. You essentially are dealing with people that are addicted to people. They are energy vampires. And this is why they're prone to emotionally cheating, physically cheating, and so on. And because of this addictive nature, then they also may be addicted to other drugs, substances, uh, porn addiction, food addiction, shopping addiction, hoarding, and so on. So I'm saying all of this to go back to that shame-based child that did not attach securely to their parents and or caregivers. And when we're talking about shame again, we're talking about pathologically low self-esteem. This is not normal um, if you feel bad on one day and then the next day that you're okay. So this means that every day that the narcissist wakes up, they are at shame. Pathologically low self-esteem means that they have no self-love, meaning that they don't love themselves. And again, this is the abandonment that started in their childhood. So on a bad day, they're at shame. And on a good day, they're at pride. However, they cannot move past their pride. So they're in a shame, rage, pride cycle because they're not elevating. They're not ascending. What you're experiencing today with stalking is dysfunctional attachment that started in their developmental years from their parents. You are dealing with people that do not have a very good grasp on boundaries. This is victim abuser consciousness, right? That era from shame up to pride. And who is an abuser? An abuser is someone that breaks your boundaries, either non-physical, such as psychological, emotional, or it could be physical. So if somebody attacks your person, for example, domestic violence, or if they invade your space, such as breaking into your home, that is breaking boundaries. In victim abuse or consciousness, the mindset is different. So when you look here on the Hawkins scale, um, the error from shame up to pride is below the level of rational thinking. And rational linear thinking is going to be the green area. Rational linear thinking means that we can work things out. You can um, have accountability and resolve. Narcissists have none of this. All of this is below the level of rational thinking. 
So do not try to rationalize their behavior. It is abnormal. Can't really rationalize crazy. However, understand that in their mind, you're either going to be the victim or the abuser. So for them, being powerful means being the abuser because you cannot be equal in victim abuser consciousness. If somebody is stuck in the third dimension, this is exactly how they think. So if you're dealing with a narcissist that damaged your property, broke into your apartment, stole physical things from you, then they believe that they are entitled to those objects. This is the mindset of an abuser.